A recount can also be initiated by the voters, something the experts say is a very tall order. Eyewitness News reporter David Spunt is live now to sort out how this might work if it moves forward. David. Jessica, a lot of people talking about this in the political world just when you thought this campaign was over. Stein filed for this recount through the courts just about two hours ago. I will be president for all Americans. When Donald Trump declared victory in the early morning hours of November 9th, he probably had no idea the R word recount would be in the cards. Cause for Republican concern virtually non-existent after Hillary Clinton conceded the next day. But it's Jill Stein, the former Green Party candidate who has raised more than six million dollars to hold recounts in Wisconsin and now Pennsylvania. If there was anything out there that might change this result, I would be working 24 hours a day to get it done. Former Pennsylvania Governor Ed Rendell spoke to Eyewitness News after Stein formally filed. He calls the recount a waste of time. We've got to stop making wild charges. We've got to get back to the time when we did things based on substantial evidence. In order to have a recount, three voters in each precinct need to sign off. So far, she's conquered about 100 out of more than around 9,000 precincts. Republican strategist Allison Young, who worked in the George W. Bush administration, admits it's important to make sure every vote counts, but questions the motive in this case. My skepticism is this is all about Jill Stein and not really about changing the results of the election. Young says even if the recount changed results in Pennsylvania, Donald John Trump will still be the 45th president of the United States. Some voters who still haven't accepted the results of the election, um, but as far as the candidates and the campaigns are concerned, they've moved on and are moving forward with transition and preparing for inauguration. Yuki and Jessica, I just got off the phone with a Stein campaign source. They told me that Jill Stein hopes that more precincts will jump on, jump on board. The Stein campaign says Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump, and Gary Johnson are all welcome to join this recount, though at this point, I'm told those campaigns just observing. Reporting live tonight, David Spunt, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, David, thank you for that.